so I just got back from San Francisco Bay Area with my buddies and their family and I gotta tell you we caught a ton of fish out there um, I, we went halibut fishing but I didn't catch any halibut but we did catch a buttload of um, striper bass big ones um, but the purpose of this video is I wanted to share share with you guys um, how this Ozark Trail soft cooler bag held up in today's condition and the environment uh, this is a Walmart purchase. It was about 80 bucks with tax. And I just want to see what a cheap, you know, soft bag like this would hold up as far as keeping the ice cold and keeping the fish cold on the way home. So before I tell you more about this bag, I want to show with you guys a short video of our trip today. And if you don't want to watch that video, fast forward it towards the end. But without further ado, let's get started.
guys saw, um, you know, this bag has ton of room. It's a 50 can uh, soft bag cooler. Um, I'm not sure what quart that is, but it was enough to hold two bags of ice, one gallon of jug of water, plus all my lunch, um, and more. And the beautiful thing about this particular bag initially is one, it's pretty compact. This particular bag, you can open it up or it collapses to like this and it snaps down. Uh, one thing I noticed right off the bat that I really love about this soft bag versus a hard um, cooler is that it has a shoulder strap. So if you've ever gone fishing, you got lots to carry to the boat. You've got maybe your bag or backpack um, and then a cooler. So, you know, having that extra hand, like a cup of coffee was really nice um, this morning. If I had a, a, like a rigid plastic cooler, I would need both hands. Um, plus I would carry my backpack, but I wouldn't be able to carry my coffee. So just that alone was super cool. Um, number two, reason why I bought this was that I knew and I wasn't expecting the ice to hold up for more than a day, even though this bag says it can hold up to five days. Um, that's not true at all. And I will show you guys later on uh, what the ice condition is after I went fishing about 14 hours later. Um, but as far as the form factor goes, this was by far the best uh, performing bag um, I have seen out there on the market for this particular situation. Now you have the Igloos and the Yetis and other millions of brands, probably does a much better job holding the ice. But then again, I'm not looking to hold ice like today for 10 days or a week or even two days. I just wanted to hold ice for one day to keep my fish cold, to keep my lunch cold, and to keep my water cold. At the end of the day, I'm just gonna dump the ice out, right? So with that said, and, and the price you pay, that's what you should expect. Let me just show you. So this is our fish fillet. And you can see the fish in here, oh, I'm sorry, the ice, and it's about 95% um, melted. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And a lot of guys were stoked on the boat about this particular cooler. And like I said, it's the Ozark Trail at Walmart. And you can also buy it on Amazon as well, which I'll leave the links down below. So with that being said, just want to say thanks for watching and and hope to see you guys on a trail or out of the lake or maybe in the bay fishing.